What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, Dap Universal. I'm Dap. So if you are new here, have never done a pick a card tarot reading, I'm gonna explain it to you real quick. Um, you can you you know just basically just pick an image that you see intuitively based on your third eye. Which one just calls to you? Which one feels like your reading's gonna be in the power? Because it's gonna be three different readings um, for you. You only pick one or two. I say two because you see there are zodiac signs on these cards as well for you to choose from. So you can go with the image or your zodiac sign or their zodiac sign, whatever you want to do. If you are pulled to both an image that does not match up with the zodiac sign, like say um, you like pile number two's image, but you are a zodiac sign from pile number one. Well, you just watch both of them because there may be a message there for both, like in both piles. Those are both for you. Um, but yeah, you will find the timestamps in the description and in the pinned comment. Um, so you're going to like pile number one is going to be on your left. The pick A is going to be pile number two. The card is going to be pile number three. You, you, you can find that in the, you know, in the description. I'll label them there for you too as well. Um, and by the way, go ahead and like the video if you haven't already. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to the channel. I'm here every single day. If not doing a pick a card reading, I'm going live or doing live readings for y'all for donations. Um, you can also book a personal reading if you want to support the channel and get some uh, insightful dap time to yourself. Uh, no appointment necessary. I send the reading to you uh, as a link and you can watch it as many times as you want to. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Bye for now. What up, pal number one? Welcome to your reading on, um, so what are their thoughts about you? How are they viewing you? What are their feelings? This can be a romantic situation, probably. It doesn't have to be, but it's probably. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, one of these animal spirits before we get into um, a, a tarot spread. And that's about it, really, you know? Go ahead and like the video if you haven't already. It's a great way to exchange energy. You can always book a reading personally if you want to, no appointment necessary. Um, I'll record the, the reading for you and send it to you. Um, you can find the link to that in the description. But what you pulled pile one is the fish. So um, fish can be a water totem. So think um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Don't have to be, but it's about the feelings. It's about the feels, it's about um, the bond of the relationship. It can also be about, um, say, your spiritual growth in a relationship. It can even be like, uh, say, a very soul-mated energy, right? Um, but what this card says is restless, change of focus, lost in the current. The fish loves to be subsumed in life's current. Nothing pleases it more than movement, movement, movement the roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while but usually leads to weariness and slippery situations with all the possibilities out there in the vast waters the fish becomes lost without clear goals and intentions spend some time with the lunar forces dear fish as the peace and calm of the moon will calm your soul when in balance the fish is adaptable and it travels well when out of balance the fish is distracted and changes its mind off to bring it back into balance, set small goals and accomplish them. Okay, so this is the energy of someone who doesn't quite know what they want. They're hot and they're cold, they're in and they're out. Um, it could be that energy of like, you, you're probably like, what, what What do you want from me? <laughs> it's like, when when you tell me, you tell me, and then I think that we're on the same page, and then when I get a little, just a little bit comfortable, it's like you pull the rug up from underneath me. It's like, what do you want? They don't even know probably, but we're gonna <laughs> pull some tarot card so what's the truth of the connection from their perspective what is the truth from their perspective what do they think this is all right so i see strength i see the tower could be dealing with the leo as well we're on aquarius aries all right i see the five of wands Clarify about the Queen of Wands. A lot of Aries energy, a lot of fiery energy. And what can you expect moving forward in the connection? All 
All right, we have the Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, you do have the Six of Cups. The Ten of Wands in reverse. And the Hangman. All right. So whatever the relationship is with this person, you feel like it's kind of stagnant. You feel like we've been stuck in the same place for a while and it's no longer maybe feeling exhilarating for you. It's almost like it makes you long for like maybe back in back when you maybe first met when it was like fresh and new and there was like excitement. And um, it's like you're trying to see things from a different perspective. I think they are, too, but they feel overwhelmed by the responsibility of what a relationship entails of just it's not even that they can't do it. It's more like the thought of being responsible for somebody freaks them out or the thought of having to answer to somebody freaks them out. They think relationships equal loss of identity and freedom altogether. You know, that's only if you don't have any boundaries, but like they look at relationships in general, just like if I commit to you, if I give myself to you, then I'm not going to have anything for myself. You know, it's like they look at relationships as a sacrifice. That's that's how they see love as a sacrifice. And it may be a sacrifice they're not willing to make. I don't think that's an accurate way to look at it, but that's how they see it. The truth of the connection from their perspective, like this specific connection, um, I see strength in the tower. Um, <clears throat> I think you came out of nowhere. Either the relationship came out of nowhere, they came out of nowhere, or like if you knew each other prior, like the whole like let, let we have feelings for each other thing may have just felt random to them, or like like boom, um, it was very fast, right? Some of y'all may have been with this person or talking to this person for about a year, watching this video. Um, some of y'all just met <laughs> but I do see strength as well um, they they see this this connection as something that makes them feel powerful or empowered they like your level of attention and affection they like that you like them the Empress on the bottom of the deck they like that you like them that it nurtures something for them it validates something in them whether they do that for you or not, I don't know, but they do like the 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 stroke of the ego that you give them, the you the man feeling, or you the mm feeling, is that energy. So like they, they appreciate that. But I would say like they didn't plan on like catching feelings or being involved with, with you. I don't think that was a thing. Even if they pursued you, it's like you just kind you still just popped out like popped into their existence out of nowhere. Like what 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 what? Like just into their awareness. And um, I think they are excitement seeking, so they do like thrills and, and, and things like that. They like new things and excitement, so they, they probably put it on real thick. But um, how they feel about you currently, I do see the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands. You're, they think of you as a little bit jealous. They think it, that you might be a little bit, wee bit, maybe sort of kind of jealous. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse in a love reading for me would be like the other woman. She comes up upright, so it's apparently you. you like Maybe you're an Aries. Um, but the the Queen of Wands with the Five of Wands, it's like saying you tend, they see you as someone who tends to be a little bit jealous, tend to need to be extra validated a lot. Like, tell me that you love me, tell me that you want to be here. Like, give me, get, like, give me some affirmation that you, that you, that this is real. It's like, they, 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 they see you as that. Um, needing too much outside validation in order to feel secure in a connection or in this connection. But they may have created the they may have created the the circumstances for that. Um, clarifying this, I do see the lovers. So there is real feelings here. Um, I think even if they haven't said I love you, or if they don't admit the I love you part, or they don't want to say it right now for whatever for some reason, like right now, like maybe some of y'all aren't in communication. Um, it's like it's still there. They can't help it. They can't change it. They're drawn to you for a reason. This is a soul made energy. Um, not to say that that's supposed to last forever. It's gonna it's fated to work, but it is a very strong pull towards you toward, towards each other. But they do see you as being a little bit high maintenance. <laughs> what can you expect moving forward? Oh. We did have the eight of wands that came up, right? That's fast moving energy. That's that's, that's more communication. If you're not in communication right now, that's your confirmation that you will be in communication. Probably through like a simple text message or something. Um, the two of cups, meeting, seeing each other, wanting to bask in each other's energy, hang out. All 
and also have a page of wands explore each other's self like basically getting to know one each other like on a deeper level wanting to maybe even do something for, for a few of y'all do something wild like move in together or get married or something like that or maybe even have a baby but like it's like it's the energy of i want to take things to the next level but in the most dramatic way if this person had a lot of leo in their chart it would make sense um <laughs> but that's what i got for you i'm gonna close out with some of these uh cards out my big ass deck of oracle cards it's like three decks in one Let's see what we got for you and we'll close it out you have the life lesson of grief I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. You have number 27, spiritual partnership. This is a spiritual partnership. You probably were together in past lives as well. 27 is, is the energy of nine. And then we have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. And if this was a past life connection, I would say maybe y'all didn't get it quite right. Maybe this is a redo of sorts um, to kind of uh, tie up those loose ends in this energy or break the karma. Or it could even just talk about in this particular life, maybe you tried and it like a false start and it did not work out. And now maybe you're giving another, maybe you're given another chance because you're both still so attracted to each other. But sound off in the comments, let me know how this resonated, if this resonated. And um, put a little heart emoji for me if you have nothing to say. <laughs> like, still leave a comment, it helps. Um, but remember guys, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings and all we do. Bye. What up, pile number two? Welcome to your reading. What are the current thoughts on you? What we're going to be doing is I'm going to um, start you off with one of these uh, animal spirit oracles before we get into the tarot spread, and that's about it. Um, if you haven't taken the time to like the video already, please like the video. That's a great way to exchange energy. Remember, if you want to book a personal reading, you always can. Just the link is in the description. You do not have to book um, an appointment. There's no appointment based. I record the video, send it to you. You get the link. You watch it over and over and over to your little ears and eyeballs just fall out the sockets. However much you want to do it, it's up to you. It is yours. But let's get into it. So your person pulled the energy of the deer. And this is an earth totem. So this could be... Um, say Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. And it says, loving, intuitive, graceful, the mother. The deer represents the feminine aspects of earth energy. This energy is available to all creatures, regardless of gender, but is especially potent in new parents. During the first few days, they are fully present, nurturing and calm. Their inner beauty radiates and the sense of grace calms the room. A deer personality affects others in this way, drawing them towards a quiet tenderness. The deer card may appear when a birth or a celebration of new life draws near, or when a situation calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. When in balance, the deer is receptive and compassionate, nurturing. When out of balance, it is concerned and overprotective. To bring it back into balance, nature and time with children. All right, so this could be, um, someone who has kids already um they may be a very devoted parent or you may have a child with this person mm -hmm. they could also just be the energy of like um, a giver making sure that you're okay like pampering you you know like that kind of thing taking care of you but let's see what's the truth of this connection from their perspective What's the truth of the connection on the perspective? All right, so we have the hermit. They may be older than you, or they may just have like a one of those really mature, just older personalities, like those old souls. I also see the Ten of Pentacles. They may also have a lot of money or, a, a, or an extended family. So they can have a large family um, or just have like they shit together, like together, together. Big one. You know? um, how do they feel about you? I'm seeing a lot of Virgo energy, by the way. They could be heavy Virgos or Pisces. Five of Cups. Ten of Cups, Five of Cups. That's interesting. What's the next move? I see the moon. What can you expect moving forward? The King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, you do have the Knight of Swords in reverse. The Hangman. And the Queen of Swords. Okay. Could be a Libra, could be a Gemini. 
Could be Leo, Virgo, Pisces, maybe Scorpio, but that's what I'm saying so far. So they're very much a um an intellectual. I feel like this is a person who may have like gone to school, like finished school, gotten a degree, may work in some kind of field where they have to use a lot, a lot of their mental capacity. They may own a business. Um, they may have a job where they have to talk a lot. They may just talk a lot in general. Um, they may be uh, somebody who definitely is social. They give me maybe more of a, they could be, they could be an introvert or an extrovert, but they give me somebody who has a lot of connections or has to talk to people a lot, whether they're shy or outgoing, they have to deal with people. Um, and I feel like they may also be the type to, to keep things rather blunt. I think they are very giving people, but they may not be very nice people. Like they're kind, but they may not be very nice. Like they may just kind of keep it like, it, like they're sometimes their words may, may hit you like daggers, like, ah, you know, like, what did you, you say it like that, like that? Like you have to insult me. Like you could have softened it a little bit. God damn. But, um, I feel like they, they just kind of like say shit. <laughs> But they, but they speak is truth though. I don't think they're liars. I think they do speak the truth. Um, but it could be a little bit too harsh of a truth, maybe for you sometimes. But the truth of the connection for them, what they think this is, the Ten of Pentacles and the Hermit. So this is a person who may have been single for a while. They may have been getting used to being single, and they don't really, and they may have high standards. They may not necessarily just date anybody or just fool around anybody. This is a person who may very much um, be looking for something long term and if, it, if they get an uh, inkling that it's not they don't want it it's like they don't want nothing half-assed they don't want any games they don't want to be like strung along and it's like this is a person who seems to be like ready for like a commitment or like that's what they really want clarify that all right we do have the four pentacles and they may be very withholding of their energy too sometimes you, may, you don't get all of them you, they, you don't get them, um, they don't make themselves overly available either. It's like they're very particular about and cautious about how they give their energy and their time. Because when they start, they may give it out a lot. They may be very generous, um, overly so. So they so in order to protect themselves, they may withdraw or they may um, come across as like um, kind of cold. But they're not. I don't think they're cold. I think they're really cautious. Um, how they feel about you. I do see the Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups. So they don't know who. <laughs> they don't know. On one hand, they see this could be beautiful. This could be everything. This could be a family. This could be, uh, this could be, oh my God, um, so fulfilling, so loving, everything I need. Or it could be this. Or I could lose everything. Or I could just be kidding myself and this could all just be a bad dream. Like, this person could be fake. This person could be like, they don't know. They, they still haven't been able to completely feel comfortable in your energy yet. So for some of y'all, y'all may have just met. Others, y'all may have known each other for a long time, but you still got these walls up because I feel like this person still isn't sure if it will work with you. Um, the Seven of Cups comes up as well. And it's like, that's the card of like saying they may have also have other options or think that you have other options or just like, just not be sure of like maybe what you want. There's an uncertainty about it. They want the best, but they are terrified of the worst happening so it's like this idea that maybe we could do better at being vulnerable with each other um opening up like that's the only way that a healthy relationship would ever come about uh, even if you are in a relationship with each other it's like maybe it's like this idea that maybe we need to reconnect and like get back to like why we love each other like why what what brought us together um, remembering that we choose to be here every single day if we are in a relationship with each other or dealing with each other in general, like we choose to. And remembering why you want to may be a very powerful thing for this specific connection. Um, what can you expect moving forward? Um, I do see the moon and I do see the king of wands. Someone could have a baby. So y'all could be having a baby. Like someone could be thinking about a baby. It's something like the moon comes up a lot. This Leo energy comes up a lot. That deer card. It could be um, a baby. Whether you want it or not, I don't know. But it's like it could be the idea of like maybe having another baby. Um, it could be the energy of maybe really tapping into say uh this next level of love because uh, the, the the king of wands that leo energy is very generous 
So it could be like this a big proposal of something. Um, like say you may be getting engaged. I do see the hierophant on the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all may actually be meeting the family, meeting the parents. Um, that could be a thing. Uh, if it's not like y'all literally having children, it could be you meeting each other's family or, or meeting their kids or something. Um, it's giving that. Um, you could also be going on a trip soon. I just saw the chariot flash out. You could be going on a vacation or like uh, just go maybe a day trip or something like that. That's a great way to kind of rekindle that magic or, or at least just get to know each other a little bit more. But um, that's what I got for you. This isn't so bad. I don't think it's so bad. I think it's pretty good. Um, sound off in the comments let me know how this resonated. Just Or just put a little purple heart emoji. Um, if you have nothing to say, but, but comments do help uh, as well as your like. But um, I'll get out, you know, I'm gonna pull some of these uh, cards out of the big ass deck of Oracle cards because why not? And then I'm gonna close it out. All right, so you do have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Yeah. All right, you have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. <clears throat> And last but not least, we'll take the one on the bottom, whatever this is. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. That's all I got for you, bada bing, bada boom. Um, remember this, guys. If you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. Bye. Mm -hmm. What up, pile number three, and welcome to your reading. You're just looking at um, what are the current thoughts about you? How, do you, how are you? How are you currently being viewed by these people, this person? Um, it's probably going to be a love reading. You know, it doesn't have to be. Put yourself where you fit in. This is your reading for you. This is an intuitive thing for you, too. But my intentions is it's probably going to be a love reading. Um, <laughs> there's some romantic underlings, underlings, whatever, um, to it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with one of these uh, animal spirit oracles. And then we'll get into the tarot and pretty much get in your business. So if you would uh, have not subscribed or liked the video already, please do that for me. It goes a long way. It's a great exchange of energy and we thank you so much. Also, another way to, uh, to, to support the channel and your reader is to book a reading. You can book a personal reading um, through the link in the description. There's no appointment necessary. All you got to do is um, fill out the form, book it. I will send you your video. Um, and you can watch it as many times as you want to to your eyeballs and ears just fall off their sockets. I mean, however much you want to, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can watch it a year later. It's yours. The link is yours. So, um, yeah, do that. Get you some, get you some, some personal dap time knowledge. But, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get into your read. So the hyena is what you pulled. So this is going to be describing more so their energy. Um, it is a fire totem. So this could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And it says humor, wit, and sarcasm. So the hyena personality is a jokester and a crowd pleaser, but below the surface, there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or to mask things you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goal seriously? When in balance, the hyena is charming, witty, fun to be around. When out of balance, it's scrappy, petty, and suspicious. To bring it back in the balance, sobriety. So you may be dealing with someone who is very much dry, humor, sarcastic, but the, but at the same time, probably very intelligent. Because I think in order to have like to be witty and have like um, a good use of sarcasm, you got to be like intelligent, right? So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. It gives that vibes. It's going to be a fire sign, but it could be any sign really. Um, they may have something very uh, distinctive about their laugh. <laughs> they may laugh at every fucking thing. Um, there's something there about the laugh. Or like their smile. They've got beautiful teeth or fucked up teeth. Either way, this is the, I'm just throwing stuff out there for you so you can say, oh yeah, that that that's for me. You know, he do got some fucked up teeth. Just just you know, whatever. Not not clown, not judging nobody, clowning nobody. I'm just saying, you know, the shoe fits. Whatever. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and pull some cards. So what's the truth of the connection from their perspective? Because we're gonna be looking at this um, whole spread from their perspective. Unless I, I mess around, I'll just start describing you then. I mean, just flip the energy, I guess. But my intention is to describe them and how they feel. So the truth of the connection. All right, so we do have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Things are going fast. All 
All right, we have the Temperance card in verse. So two more Sagittarius cards. This could be a Sagittarius. You could be Sagittarius, Venus, Moon, whatever. It's a lot of Sagittarius energy um, for whatever reason. How do they feel about you? The King of Wands in reverse. The Page of Wands. All right. And what can you expect moving forward? What's likely to happen moving forward? The Queen of Cups. Okay. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. All right, bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Fool. So um, this is either a new connection or we're getting to a place of, of a new start in the relationship, maybe the next level, possibly, especially if you've been feeling stuck um, in a certain place or, or in your own head or something like that. It's something about boosting more confidence. So you may be going through like a maybe a decent period with this person right now. Maybe you are laughing more than you've been laughing. Before. Maybe I'll have more fun. Um, something like that. And maybe you've come from like oh, some hard times with this person and you just can't let them go. But the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse is like saying, I'm, I'm releasing all my insecurities. I'm releasing that negative energy and I'm ready to embrace the new and like take a chance with it and leap, baby. It's like it's that energy. It's optimistic, right? Mm -hmm. They could also just be their feelings. But their truth of the connection right now is the Eight of Wands and the Temperance card in reverse. They have this strong urge to take things further, move things fast, and be chaotic and messy and like not hit, like say, buck the brakes and just pump the gas and like just go all in. That's what they want to do um, for some reason. They want to just go all in. But in a reckless way, though, because the Temperance card reverse is about imbalances, excesses. It's too much. No boundaries. No boundaries. And then the Ace of Pentacles and the Will of Fortune comes up in reverse. And I think it's like saying they feel like they may miss an opportunity if they don't. So, like, this could be the energy of somebody that you've been dealing with. And you're like, look, you need to get serious. Like, get up, get the hell away from me kind of stuff. Like, look, what you, what you trying to do? If it's nothing, stop wasting my time. And like they may take that as a real threat. They may be like, oh shit, like, okay, well, now I gotta do them, they, like, overcompensate. And it's like, no, that's not the point either. But it's like they feel like something about missing out or um, the, like, not having things go in their favor at this point. So you may, it may be an energy of you being sick, like, done with them, sick of them, or just express that maybe your needs aren't being met. It gives me that, or they're just worried about it. I don't know. But um, how do they feel about you? I see the King of Wands in reverse and the Page of Wands. Also, if you have not told them that, and that is the case, like your needs are being met, maybe that's a sign for you to tell them that your needs aren't being met and tell them what's going on in a respectful, vulnerable way. And maybe they'll have that energy of like, I should do something. You know, don't just expect them to just know. But how they feel about you is the King of Wands in reverse and the Page of Wands. So they, th they feel like you are both um super okay they think you're super creative super charming very uh passionate energy you have a lot of passion but you can also be a little bit controlling the king of wands in reverse is controlling um a lot of times or it can be a little bit into itself they may think that you have a big head um but at the same time there's a childlike nature to you you could be a leo or have like a lot of leo in your chart there's like a childish kind of fun thing that you do with the page of wands when you're in a good mood so it's like you can be the dictator or you can just be the eternal child in a type of energy. They see you as both. And I think the difference or that 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 um, that polarity is actually interesting for them. I think they on some subconscious level, maybe they really kind of like that or they, they think it's something that really stands out with you. And I think you feed into their energy. You boost their spirits up. You give them life, they would say. Um, the Seven of Cups in reverse comes up and now we also talk they feel like maybe um they also feel like maybe you the way you perceive the world is a lot different like me you may be a little bit more dreamy or intuitive like just it's almost like your head's in the clouds they see you as someone like with their head in the clouds sometimes 
and willing to take action with the Knight of Wands in reverse, willing to take action on those whims and intuits and impressions and feelings without asking first, bitch. I'd like, no, my, nope, I intuit, I know. Nope, you, you, you fucking around or like, nope, you, it's like you, you react on your intuition and that's not bad, I guess, but they see that as almost like you're really confident, like, or like you really, you really know how you feel type of energy and it can be a little bit um dramatic for them i see a lot of fire um the same thing they can they, they can give them life can also burn down the house and their clothes and flatten their tires and key their car like what destroy is what i'm trying to say it's like they they know that you probably it's like you're you're wonderful you're beautiful light but you're dangerous bitch to be around um when 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 you make when they make you mad they don't want to you know so where are we moving from here like what can you expect at this point moving forward you have the queen of cups and you have the two of pentacles in reverse a moment to be vulnerable it may not come easy it may come when you when someone trips over themselves with the two of pentacles in reverse when someone uh, needs that 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 come to jesus moment um trying to take on too much or trying to carry too much or balance to or try to balance but not balance um it's like something will create an opportunity to show absolute gentleness and vulnerability i hope you to take it because it could really grow the relationship to a beautiful place the star comes up there is still there's hope here um you could be dealing with aquarius as well or a cancer um i feel like there is something very much divine pulling you together um the attraction is off the charts but um i feel like the vulnerability thing we can work on it but um yeah that's pretty much what i got for you i'm gonna pull some of these Oracle cards for you before we close it out. Again, thank you for being here. You can like the video if you haven't already. You still ain't like the video, but you're doing it. Um, all right, we have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. All right, we have first quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. Boom. And last but not least, you have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So we start up with the hyena laughing our asses off. So we'll end with humor, laughing our asses off, a hee 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 hell. Um, yeah, that's it. If you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings and all we do. Bye. Na, 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 na.